down link budget okay so earlier we have seen the link budget in link budget we have seen the up link budget and today we are going to see the down link budget down link budget means uh, here we are considering the signal from your satellite to earth station so when uh, we are going for uh, your down link budget uh, what are the parameters are there in case of your up link budget the parameter you remain same only same parameters we will have but uh, we should know two basic formulas one related to your received power and one related to your noise power okay so these two basic formulas we should know and these two formulas are in terms of what but whenever we are going for making the budget we will convert it in terms of your dv so as we are uh, we are converting it in terms of dv so what are the terms that are multiplied will be added up and those terms which are divided will be subtracted up and for us it will be easy for calculation purpose if we are seeing that uh, what is your received power your received power it is your uh, say transmitted power this is the transmitter gain this is your received gain and this is your uh, path loss and this is the miscellaneous loss in miscellaneous loss we have included the atmosphere uh, we have included the attenuation in atmosphere we have included the losses associated with your transmitting antenna we have included losses associated with receiving antenna all these we have included in this miscellaneous loss okay so if we are uh, if we are finding the received power in terms of your dv it will be your ptgt this is your effective isotropic radiated power this is this product uh, it is known as your uh, effective isotropic radiated power plus this is your uh, received gain minus path loss and minus uh, miscellaneous loss okay so what are the different parameters that you are having you are having the effective isotropic radiated power you are having the receiver gain you are having the path loss and you are having the miscellaneous loss so if these parameters are known you can calculate what will be the received power so first uh, we have to find what is the received power okay and uh, after finding the received power we have to go for finding the what is the noise uh, what is your noise power so suppose if you are going for your noise power noise power here you are having that it is the product of your Boltzmann constant your uh, system temperature and uh, noise bandwidth so product of all these terms are there so this you are having in terms of watts if you are going for in terms of dv all these terms will be added up and you will have the noise power as your a plus ps plus bl so in order to calculate your noise power you should know what is the voltage constant system temperature and noise bandwidth these three terms you should know so if you are knowing these three terms you can calculate your noise power and if you have calculated your received power you have calculated your noise power you can calculate what is your carrier to noise ratio okay so carrier to noise ratio it is your received power to your noise power in terms of watt and if you are going in terms of your dv it is your received power minus your noise power in terms of your dv so this you are getting so what you calculated here this is your carrier to noise ratio in case of your downlink okay this is in case of your downlink earlier we have seen carrier to noise in case of your uplink okay if you have calculated uh, your carrier to noise in case of your uplink and if you have calculated your carrier to noise ratio in case of your downlink from that you can calculate what should be your overall carrier to noise ratio overall you can calculate it okay now let us see that uh, what are the different parameters that will change when we are going from your uh, uplink budget to your downlink budget in case of uh, all these parameters Voltage constant. It is a constant parameter. Noise bandwidth. Noise bandwidth also remain the same. Here, what is happening? That you will have this system temperature. This system temperature. This is only one parameter that will be changed in case of your downlink budget as compared to your uplink. So, in case of your uplink, whatever you are having, this voltage constant, noise bandwidth, same. You can put it here. 
but you have to see what is the system temperature. Okay, only this parameter you have to change in case of your tumbling. Then, say suppose if you are seeing these parameters, in these parameters you will have just uh, one parameter, this uh, miscellaneous loss. Only one parameter will be same and remaining parameter will change. Okay, say suppose uh, your uh, here it is there effective isotropic radiated power. So, in case of downlink, you will have one particular frequency, and in case of downlink, we are going for your frequency division multiple S. We are going for your FDMA. Okay, so whatever the frequency is there, that frequency will be shared by a number of channels. A number of channels will share that particular frequency. It may be possible that there may be 50 channels, there may be 100 channels. So all those channels have to accommodate in that particular frequency only. Okay. And when we are going for uh, finding the downlink budget, we will consider only one channel. Okay. Let us assume that you are having some certain frequency. So that frequency will be taken care by 100 channels. So as you are, uh, this frequency is taken by 100 channels, we will calculate it just for one channel. Okay, so this parameter will change. Okay, here receiver gain will also change. Okay, and even your path loss will also change. So these three parameters will change. Uh, your miscellaneous loss will remain the same. Okay, so if you are knowing these parameters, you can calculate what will be the received power. Okay, in that way we can calculate your downlink budget.